Hi y'all, my name is Robert, and today we are going to be talking about the different styles of art. Now, there are many different art forms, but for the purposes of today's video, we are only going to be talking about three. Realism, Impressionism, and Abstract Art. Starting with Realism, Realist art seeks to portray everyday people in everyday situations. This was important because usually only important people were painted, like kings or queens. Here is an example of a realist painting. Notice how the people in this painting are everyday people. They are miners doing their everyday jobs. Can you spot the realist painting between these two? If you guessed the one on the right, you are correct. This one is a man on a horse and he looks like an important person. Like a king who's riding off to battle. Whereas this one looks like an everyday farmer. Next is Impressionism. Impressionist art seeks to portray how a scene makes the artist feel. This is important because of the, instead of the artist getting a painting right, they could just paint the impression something gave them. Here is an example of an impressionist painting. Notice how the artist doesn't make the water look real, just how it makes him feel. Can you spot the impressionist painting between these two? If you guess the one on the left, you are right. Notice the lighting and the ships in the background. They're not complete, but you still get the sense that they're there. The one on the right is a piece by Diego Rivera. Finally, abstract art. Abstract art focuses on painting shapes, lines, and colors in ways that don't represent reality. This is important because it departs from expectations that artists need to paint anything in reality. Here is an example of an abstract painting. Have you ever seen this in real life? Between these two, which do you think is the abstract painting? If you guessed the one on the right, you are correct. The one on the left, we've seen in reality, they are sunflowers. That's it for today's episode. To recap, we covered realist art, impressionist art, and abstract art. Take a moment to think about which one of those three were your favorite, and share it with your teacher. Thank you.